<laughs> Praise the Lord. Wretched knucklehead here, a.k.a. Brother Billy Jr. Brothers and sisters, if we could turn our Bibles to Luke chapter 18, and we'll be looking at verses 9 to 14. And it reads, And he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up into the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee, the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. I fast twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. And the publican, standing afar off, would not lift up so much his eyes unto heaven, but smote his breast, saying, God, be merciful me, a sinner. I tell you this, man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone that exalts himself shall be abased, and he that humbles himself shall be exalted. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admission, to the application, to the distribution of this great word, taken from the greatest book that man could ever possess. And my brother, this is God's word. We give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his dear son, our Lord, our Savior, sooner coming King Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, we've all done it. You know, we've, we've looked down on others and felt ourselves to be superior. Or we looked up to others and saw ourselves as failures. And that's an ugly cycle. An ugly cycle that God never intended us to be in. See, if we're in that cycle, when we're looking up to others, and putting ourselves down, or looking down at others and putting ourselves up, we used to Continue this vicious uh, cycle that's not of God. Because that way we cannot see ourselves in the right image, nor can we see God for who he is. So our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ happens along these men, these certain um, self-righteous men having a discussion. And we're going to see how and the Lord Jesus is going to demonstrate to them how to how it is to see and to be seen by the eyes of grace. And so um, our Lord and Savior Jesus happens along where the Bible says that these men trusted in themselves and they despised others. And I can imagine probably how that conversation probably went when Jesus happened along. They were probably saying maybe something like, um, you know, uh, we go to church, but they don't. Or maybe, you know, uh, we, we, we've we never done anything, uh, you know, broke the law or anything like that. We've never been in prison or never went to jail, but those people, they did. Or maybe they could have said something like, um, you know, you know, I've been married to my my spouse for X amount of years, but they, they've divorced, they've, they've, they've in sexual immorality, and they're just so devious and, and deviant and, you know, and, 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 and more, you know, and, and, and something that like, and Jesus is hearing this conversation. And so then Jesus sees something, um, uh, that that these 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 certain that that are self righteous despising others, and then Jesus then does something quite interesting. He he starts on a parable. He tells the parable about the two men go to the temple, one of uh, Pharisees and one a publican, and the Pharisees is doing all these good things and uh, tithing all his every week and he's not an adulterer he he does all these good things he doesn't do these bad things and 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 so and and the, 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 the there's also the the publican who also comes in and and he just he doesn't even so much as look up to heaven he just starts hitting his breast and saying god be merciful me a sinner and, and what's jesus um conveying into this message to these um these men who are self-righteous and trusting themselves and despise others. 
Well, with the Pharisees, let's take a look at that. The Pharisees, when you, it seemed like the Pharisees, they, they saw themselves comparatively. Because, you know, in, in the parable, Jesus is saying how they, they're doing all these good things. They're, they're not doing the bad things. And they even compare themselves to the, to the Pharisee. He says, I'm not like this Pharisee. I'm not like, like him. And he saw himself, the Pharisees, comparatively. And so when you think you're right by the good that you do and the bad that you don't, and you see yourself right, and this is how you think God sees you, what happens is, is you're going to look down on others and you're going to look up to yourself. But interestingly, you're not going to look to God because you cannot look up to God and look down on others at the same time. And this is what happens when this Pharisee in the, in the parable is doing. He's looking down on others, not looking up to God, but looking up to himself. Because this is what happens when you see yourself comparatively. But then also Jesus gives, and again, in the parable, he gives with the with the, the publican. And this publican, he sees himself correctly. You know, he comes in. He comes in, he must have done something wrong. I mean, you know, you, you would think like the, 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 the Pharisee would at least give him a little credit. I mean, at least he came to the uh, to the temple to pray, but, you know, because the Pharisee was looking comparatively, he... <laughs> He bypassed that. He despised him. He looked up to himself. He looked down on the, on the publican and didn't look to God. But the publican, he came uh, for, whatever, for whatever reason. Maybe it was overwrought with whatever um, wrong that he's done. And he comes and, and he doesn't even so much as the Bible says, look to heaven. And he just smokes his breast and says, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. You know, God is rich in mercy. And the, 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 the publican saw that in God. See, when you see God correctly, you'll see yourself correctly. And so when the publican came to the church, he didn't come in looking comparatively looking uh, you know at others and 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 looking at himself superior and 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 looking down on others like the pharisees no he looked correctly and and saw god correctly that he was full of mercy and god gives mercy to them that need it and the publican needed it and he looked to him if you will, and says, God, be merciful for me, a sinner. And so when you, if you do like what the Pharisees are looking at yourself comparatively, you don't look to God. You look to yourself and you look down to others. When you do what the public can do, look at yourself correctly, you'll see God correctly full of mercy and he then you'll see yourself correctly in need of mercy and so what happens jesus you know says that to the, the people that he's telling this parable i tell you that this man the publican went home justified and the other didn't and those who exalt themselves will be abased and those that abase themselves will be exalted and so what, what happened? Well, when you see yourself correctly, then you'll see yourself clearly. Notice what Jesus says. He said that this man, the publican, went home justified. Because he, when, when, and when you see yourself clearly and know that it's God that gives you the mercy, 
then you can now see yourself clearly. You see, the one who was supposedly innocent went home guilty. But the one who was the said guilty, the, the publican, went home innocent because he was seen clearly. And why was he seen clearly? Because God, because Jesus said that he went justified. We're not made right by what we do. We're made right by what he's done. And so when you see yourself correctly, then you're able to see yourself clearly because then now God can see you clearly. And always remember, when you look up to God, when you look up to Jesus Christ, you cannot look down on anyone else. And when you see that, from that standpoint, you will see and be seen by the eyes of grace. <laughs> Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his conscience. May the Lord give you his peace. And I commend you all to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up in inheritance to those who are sanctified in the precious name of his dear son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And now to him that is able to keep you from falling, present you faultless in the presence of his glory, both glory, majesty, dominion, power, both now and forevermore. Amen. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, when you look up to God, you will never look, look down on anyone else. And when you see it that way, you're going to be seen and you're going to see in the eyes of grace. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> Agape love.